and we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and we're going to do a character review of I'm a Gundai, the Jedi Master General who appeared briefly in the Clone Wars and he did exactly that. He died. It's, I think it's a funny play on words, I'm a gun die. And we're gonna do two things in this video. We're going to review the character and we're going to use him in this very last cantina battle. I've also had a lot of requests on trying to get this to three stars. So we're gonna make an attempt with that at the very end using him. And I just wanna say this, there's a lot of questions that people ask me about, is this character good or should I farm him up to seven stars? And I just wanna say this, the easiest way to know what heroes to farm, because this is a game of limited resources. You only have so much resources, only so many things that you can farm. And so I'm gonna to suggest to you to be careful about what heroes you take to seven stars and which ones you do not. And the easiest way to know if you're a hero that you just pulled out of a data pack and you suddenly you have a brand new four star hero, and you're wondering, should I develop him up? Should I get him up to seven stars? The easiest way to know whether your hero is good or not is to go into the squad arena, hit the ranks button, and then here, look at the top 20 or so heroes and you're gonna get a good idea immediately of what heroes are very good, which ones are worth putting Omega parts on, which ones are using the special raid parts, which heroes are gonna be strong, because if they're strong in the squad arena, they're most likely gonna be strong in all parts of the game. So like the number one guy on my server currently is using Old Ben, Ray, Royal Guard, Qui-Gon, and Stormtrooper Han. Those are all very good heroes in almost all parts of the game. So let's take a look at I'm a Gundai. We're gonna go to a website that will pull his max stats up and be sure to put in the comment section on what hero you want me to review next. I'm keeping a tally of what heroes I have not reviewed and which heroes you want me to say a review. This was a hero that I got quite a few requests and it looks like I'm gonna be able to get gameplay of him, which is very cool. So I'm a gun die is a supportive tank that boosts ally defense and grants Jedi allies counter chance. His basic attack called Sunder deals physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to inflict defense down for two turns. If that target is a droid, this attack deals 100% more damage. Wow, that's huge. And has a 100% chance to inflict defense down so he is a situational hero right here where if droids take over the meta i could see that he would become useful rebuke deal physical damage to target enemy and grant all allies defense up for three turns and then his leader ability is all allies gain 30 defense and jedi allies gain 35 percent counter chance and 25 percent counter damage Wow, that's cool. So I could see him also being useful in the Yoda events. If you're trying to get Yoda five, six, or seven stars, maybe he would be a great Jedi to make one of your five that you could take in there. Very cool. Last stand, I'm a Gundai, recovers 15% of max health for each turn for three turns whenever he suffers a critical hit. Okay, let's go into the very last Cantina battle. And that seems to be a pretty important battle because it allows you to get the Jedi Knight Anakin shards so that you can farm him there. And I'm gonna take him as a support and I wanna thank one of my allies by the name of Marrow who has a seven star completely maxed out. I'm a Gundai. All allies will gain 30% defense and Jedi allies gain 35% counter chance and a 25% counter damage. So I am going to build a team of mostly Jedis, which is pretty cool. All right, let's load this up. I think I just wanna kind of, we gotta take Yoda in there and Genosian soldier is always good and also Ray. That looks like a really good team. I don't think I wanna take anybody else in there. I have a healer and I've got a lot of damage. All of four of them are Jedi, so that's good. And then we're also using Qui-Gon Jinn's leadership ability, which gives 
Jedi's all a speed up. So that's very good. Let's see if I can beat this. I've only been able to get one stars on this. Hopefully I'll be able to get three. Let's take out Darth Sidious first. And boy, these are level 83. Oh my God, that's difficult. All right, let's do a double attack. Let's see if we can get rid of him quickly. And then I'm worried that Leia is going to go stealth. And I'm just going to let her do that. So I'm going to take out Mace Windu first. And if she does go stealth, that would be good because then she won't be attacking. I bet she's going to go stealth right here. All right. So here we've got deal physical damage to target enemy and grant all allies defense up for three turns. I'm not going to use that right now. I'm just going to do the basic attack. And that would be doing a lot more damage. You can see that the offense down went up right there. And please go stealth. Thank you. So that saves me from taking any damage. All right. Yoda is just going to do another basic attack. And I think I'm going to save the debuff for another round. And I get that turn meter reduction. Uh, I think I want to hit just with a basic attack. I'm going to save my strong attacks for the next round. Let's see if we can kill her before she attacks me. It doesn't look like she is. She's going to be able to attack me one turn. Oh, maybe I can knock her out with this double attack. No. You know what? I'm going to use this uh, unstoppable force. Maybe I'll get a stun. Plus, it does a lot of damage. Oh, I got a stun. So now I can kind of relax. Very cool. So I'm saving most of my abilities for the next round, and that is awesome. And we're going to go to round two right now. Boy, she's tanky. Boy, level 83. Boy, I can't wait for the mods to come out. They're going to come out in the next couple days. I made a bunch of videos about that. All right, so what do we got here? We do have a droid, so I will attack with... I'm a gun die. I will attack him for sure. I think I want to take out... Tebow's going to go stealth, so I probably want to save him for later. And why don't we take out Jedi Knight Anakin first. And I want to see how much damage I'm a gun die does to the droid. All right, I can do a single swipe, and that'll go down there. Uh, let's take out Luke. We'll get Foresight up on Yoda. And let's do some damage to Luke. I wonder if I can take him out right here. Goodbye. All right, so this should do 100% more damage because he's a droid and 100% chance to inflict defense down. Let's see how that goes. HK-47 is not a real threat. That looked like it was a little bit of damage. I don't know. And I'm going to save Tebow for last because I have a feeling he's going to go stealth anyways. Oh, he didn't go stealth. That's interesting. Well, look, we'll keep going. I think I'm going to save... Um, this uh, battle meditation for the last round to give everybody foresight, which is a fun trick. It's like my favorite thing to do with Yoda. Boy, that guy, HK-47, is tanky. Plus, he's going to have a percent chance to come back to life. And I want to keep the foresight up, so I'm going to attack Tebow. All right, let's get him out of the way right there. Let's do some mega damage. Boy. All right, so there the defense down triggered, which is very good. We're still looking pretty good on health. This is going well. One more attack. And then he'll probably come back to life. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to heal now. Oh, there was a counterattack right there. Cool. So that was the first time we saw a Jedi do a counterattack. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's keep this uh, foresight going on Yoda. And then when, boy, look at all this health. Boy, he, this HK-47 is beast right here. I think I want to do this right here. Well, I have, let's see if we get a stun. Oh, it actually finishes him off. Okay, ability block. Let's see if we can get defense down. No. And we want to heal up right here so we can get ready for the last round. I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to use the double attack on the Geonosian soldier, which is one of my favorite favorite heroes definitely one of my favorite free to play heroes easily farmable and the i'm a gundy is also very easy to farm wow look at this we've got a emperor palpatine level 83 i forgot he was in this battle all right 
We definitely want to take out Ray first. I can only imagine how much damage a level 83 Ray does. But I'm sure it's Nest. And she is already dead. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to go after Chewbacca first. But because now I've got the foresight opportunity, I want to do that now. Everybody's going to get foresight and offense up and tenacity. And I think that is a really good thing. And I think I just want to take out Chewbacca because there's always a chance that he will taunt. And he is almost dead. And we're going to hit right here. Let's see this right here. Deal physical damage to target enemy and grant all allies defense up for three turns. I want to do that. Let's do that right here. Oh, look at that damage. He did like 10,000 damage right there. That is awesome. All right, we're going to go for Lando next. Oh, and he just fell down on the ground. Emperor Palpatine. Wow, if I get this at three stars, then I will have all of the story mode missions at 100% after this is over, which is very cool. We're going to keep the foresight going on him. Double attack is always awesome. Boy, I'm a Gundy did so much damage on that attack. Look at that, 9,500 damage. That's pretty strong there with a crit. He also had offense up. And we only saw one time in this battle the counter go. And that's okay. Let's keep this offense up going. Boy, I'm going to get three stars here, it looks like. Very cool. I know a lot of people have been asking me that. All right, so in conclusion, I'm a gun guy. Might be useful against droids. I don't know. He might be useful in getting a seven-star Yoda, but he's not a hero that I'm going to farm. I have so many other heroes that I'd rather be farming right now, but if you are coming up a lot against the droids in the squad arena, or if the meta changes to droids, I could th see him being very good. Or if you just need a Jedi to fight in the Yoda event, I would also do that. But other than that, I don't know how relevant he is. All right. Right here in the middle of the screen, there is a link to the playlist of all of my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos. Be sure to put down in the comments section. I'm going to be continuing this series of character reviews, and I'm keeping a tally. So put down there a hero that you want me to review. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.